you got you do NFL stuff. It don't matter. Just let me know how y'all do it. But uh, <clears throat> obviously, if you can sleep on a rock, you know I'm a big NBA fan. I'm kind of equal in NFL and NBA. Anyway, so everybody know Kyrie, Kyrie Irving. You know, same point guard, the Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Sean Marks, I believe, the GM of Brooklyn Nets, came out yesterday, or maybe the day before yesterday, and said that Kyrie will not be participating in anything until he gets vaccinated. Because it, the reason why he said that is because the state of New York passed the law which saying that you can't enter any New York establishments and you haven't been vaccinated. So <clears throat> that's why all the NBA, pretty much all the NBA teams, majority of them got vaccines because it's California and New York are the two that's kind of like that right now. So there's kind of like one of those things like, hey, just do this because, you know, you make money with them. <clears throat> I ain't going to get into the COVID shit, vaccine shit. Y'all can figure that out. But on the sports side of the shit, I find it interesting because it's like, it's one side when it's like, oh, he's stupid. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of call him dumb without saying it. They're like, oh, he's so smart. He's intelligent. But then it's like, but nigga, why are you doing this? Because you're going to do what you want to do. And you're going to retire. And they kind of like crack jokes on my dude like that. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> I just want to point out that long drawn whole soliloquy was point out, point out the fact that with all the people that said Kyrie crazy and you know what I'm saying? He, he got his head up his ass. Same thing I said back in 2016 we left for the fucking Celtics. They niggas was trying out there shit, shitting on LeBron. It was like, oh, you know, LeBron, you know, he's a terrible teammate. You know, he wanted to he control the team. And I was that like, nah, it's all Kyrie. Earth is the only fucking planet that's flat. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to point that out. I just want to point that as LeBron and fan, I, I want to point that out. out that he, he, you know, he went to Duke, so it's making me think, what the fuck do they teach at that school? I know Tar Heels don't talk like that. I don't know. Y'all got some dumbass Tar Heels, too. I ain't going to cap. Nah, we, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe Danny Green. He probably might be the dumbest one. Hey, man. Kyrie, Maybe. Kyrie was cool until he started fucking with old girl that was old, <laughs> on drugs and fucking with it. You lost oh. it after that, yo. She sucked yeah. the soul out that nigga. <laughs> I kind of, I, I guess I kind of agree with him. I, I understand what you're doing, man. If you ain't, if you don't want to get vaccinated. It's your job, you, though. Yeah. Not to get vaccinated. Yeah. yeah, if your job tells you, and I'm paying you, all right, again, the podcast, we making $20 million per podcast, right? Well, nah, it wouldn't be 20 million per podcast. It's 82 games. The nigga make like 24 million. So what? Probably like 2 million. Yeah. Like 2 million, 2 million per podcast. Right. But the building where we recording at, by law says, you can't walk in this building unless you're vaccinated. You're not getting vaccinated. If I, if I feel as strongly as he does about it, if I feel as strongly as he does about it, then you can't do it. Not for no, but, not for no hold job, on. bro. But, <laughs> Now, now you put all of us in the situation. Now you jeopardize all our shit because we're a team. Right. <clears throat> but I'm a man first. So you, so manly, if I don't get my $2 million as a man, who I'm coming to see? I mean, you still gonna get the show. The, no, the, the, the show don't go on. on. The show the can't go on. on. The, okay. They lost, they lost they start playing at that, but guess what? But listen, this the is what you're not, goes you're on. not you're listening. There's a, minimum, there's a minimum roster. There's a minimum amount of people you need for them to play in a game. I understand. Right? I still have to pay you. I am paying you. It's in your contract. You must show up if healthy. You're not healthy. This is a personal decision. This is personal. It's not. It's not nothing else. It's because you don't believe in, in in it. Is there anything that you believe in that you won't do? Like what? If it, oh, if it, yeah, if the if the if the law says, hey, you gotta suck dick to walk into this arena. No, I'm not sucking dick. But this is health wise. It's not just about you. It's about your other 15, 14 people on the team and the. 100,000 people in the arena. Not to get not to get political. I know this ain't the uh this ain't the platform <laughs> for that. But. I was going to take it anyway, but go ahead. <laughs> if a 
hospital requires nurses and doctors to get it and they don't want to. Why is it any different that when a NBA player, just because they get paid millions of dollars more, it's, oh, you got to get that vaccine because you, you, the, you let the, the team down. The doctors and the doctors and nurses are not getting it because it's not healthy. They're getting it because it's forced on them. Let's keep that in mind. People are not denying the the uh, vaccine because they think it's unhealthy. They just mad because they're being forced to take it. Right. Correct. That's what they're Correct. standing up against. Hit Kyrie's point is, I shouldn't be forced to take this. I'm not taking right. it. That's it. it. Has nothing to do with the health risk or anything. It's right. I am being forced to because these same nurses and doctors was just crying a couple fucking months ago about needing a fucking vaccine for this because it's too it's overwhelming. It's just about being forced. As Americans, we like to have choices. That's True. it. Yep. I agree. I agree. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I was like, <clears throat> and it's like, it can't say it's a loose correlation or whatever, but it's kind of like the whole cabinet thing, right? It's like, all right, how much are you willing to sacrifice for this cause? How much do you believe in this cause, right? So are you willing to sacrifice you pretty much your career for this? And right, exactly. that's how I looked at it. If, if Kyrie feel that way, then hey, bro, just step away or retire like he said he's gonna do, or retire for like two, three years until this shit kind of calms down a little bit. Then you know, the Bronx, yeah. you know? and he should not. He should not. He shouldn't even but, be the only damn player that. Cause he ain't even the only player that's doing that. He's not the he, only one that's. He is just the, the only one left. He's the only one left. It was him and Andrew yeah. Wiggins, and then Wiggins fucking realized the truth. Like he said, "Oh, I want my kid that generation of wealth." I could have sworn it was one more person. It was uh, it was him and Andrew. The dude from Philly, won't it? I think it was. Oh, it's it's on. It's a dude on Orlando Magic that um said he wasn't gonna take. It was. Oh, they don't count. They not even. Somebody that won't. It was somebody that won't like a big star, but it was somebody whose name you would know. I forget who it was though. Like some light skinned dude. But anyway, still to my point though. At this point, Kyrie has made so much money. If they telling that man, you gotta get that joint. Then I'm saying that if this me at my job now and they tell me, oh, you need to get that so you can stay employed, I gotta do it because I need the job. But if yeah. I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm making millions. I didn't play in the league. I got me a couple of rings. And then they telling me, oh, you need to get this to play. I'm not getting it. If I don't believe in it, I don't I, wanna get I it. Think, they I shouldn't think force me to. We're looking at part of it. We're just looking at this. This is the same motherfucker yeah. who's just complaining about people uh money with the WNBA but this is the same thing can't make money if you can't play That's you said how you saying something about WNBA yeah he don't he had, donated some money to the, like he's a good person but you you standing up for the wrong things he's only doing this like again like I said before you left when you made the point about the nurses they're not mad about them happen to, about the vaccine it's about them being forced to take it. Yeah. That's correct. That's okay. correct. That's but it's not it's yeah. not a health risk. It's about the choice of you're not giving me this. That's it. Right. <clears throat> and then at the end of the day, if you think about it, to kind of play devil's advocate, he's not really being forced because he can retire. He ain't got to play in the NBA. He can go get a That's job that doesn't require him to do it. You know what I mean? So it's like... So I has guess, Kyrie said anything about this? On his nah, mind? he's been quiet. But he's going to be quiet. Cause that nigga got a whole talk. shoe for Nike. That nigga can sit out for a, a season or two. I mean, yeah. how, are those shoes selling though? Yeah, I was going to say, just because <laughs> he got a, them shoes. Uh, I mean, he got a fan base. I say he He, he had a fan base because he was playing I mean, basketball. Right, is PG selling shoes? He, like, Kyrie, his name, Kyrie cannot play another basketball game and we will still know who Kyrie are. Because Kyrie, of this. He's still going to be. Because yeah, I'm saying. He's main. Allen Iverson he's, still can't sell shoes. Allen Iverson can't sell shoes right now. Allen Iverson. He cannot well. sell shoes Allen right now. Allen Iverson was on the shoes. He was good on him, man. Them shoes don't look good now. Kyrie's shoes like, don't look good me. ever. That's <laughs> my point. <laughs> That's my point. You're making the point. Yeah, I'll take that. They that. shoes but sell still, because of their play. But kids like Kyrie, though. So kids because buy. he's playing. It's just like, it's just like, because he's playing, bro. If Kyrie retires and he come out with a, uh, what's that movie he had? Uncle Drew. He's an old man. Uncle, Uncle Drew. Drew. He come out with an mm -hmm. Uncle Drew series. Everybody watch me. No, that that was a good it movie. did not sell. That shit was trash. I liked it. I was really good. It was high. <laughs> it was fucking stone. That shit I'm not you. Hell. 
<laughs> I watched it was a good movie. Netflix, Netflix fucking releases did better than that shit. Damn. Again, people <laughs> like him because he play. I'm not taking nothing away from him, but Damn. I'm being. I'm. I feel like I'm the only one being realistic. Nike is not gonna keep him around if he's not selling shit. You're not playing basketball. You're not MJ. You're not LeBron. You're not these players that's gonna sell for us without you being on the court. He obviously don't care, bro. I'm not saying he, he does. About I'm that, saying, he got that vaccine. No, he wasn't thinking like this. He was thinking, I'm Kyrie. They not going to do this shit. Right. He wasn't, thinking exactly Brooklyn, he, was thinking. he wasn't thinking Brooklyn was going to be like, oh, you don't want to get this? Don't worry about it. We don't need you. He wasn't thinking right. that. If he thought right. that Brooklyn was going to be like, don't worry about it. You ain't got to show up. Guarantee he would have took that fucking shot. He was playing. Right. He was playing fucking. He thought he had more leverage than he had. Now he gonna, a, now he gonna want to get out of Brooklyn. He ain't gonna want to play for them. It's all this. He don't want to go to another team. It's gonna start over. If mm-hmm. everywhere Kyrie goes, when it doesn't work out for him, it's the other people's fault. I'm not defending them. I'm just. Saying, I ain't I saying you. I'm just. I'm just. I'm under, out. No, no. I'm I wasn't listening to me, but I'm just saying that he had like Nike. He got shoes, but it's like it's plenty of ways for this to make money. That's what I'm saying. Not if he's not playing basketball. That's what I'm saying. His whole, I mean, his whole, his whole foundation and popularity is off basketball. Right. He don't. He don't he's, sit not out of those, he's not one of those athletes that go out and is in the in the in the spotlight. That's not him. Yeah, he's not uh, one of those nah. in the spotlight. Yeah. He's yeah. definitely low key. But then, I mean, I mean PG okay. is not either. But his shoe selling. And he had the biggest hit. But he, he he had the biggest hit. But I mean the hit off his shoes only because he's um, playing basketball. When he wasn't playing basketball, was his shoes selling? That year he was injured, was his shoes selling? No. His shoes are selling because he's on the well, court dropped, dropped the every night, dropping the 22, 25, 30 points a game. If you're not a superstar that's in the spotlight like that, like a LeBron, like a Kobe, like a Michael Jordan, there's only three top. In, there's only three motherfuckers selling shoes that don't gotta play no more. Let's keep it a bean. Yeah, true. Yeah. So, the, so to me, it sounds like you you one of the people that's one of the ones to say shut up and dribble. Shut up and play basketball. Shut up and dribble. I'm saying if you if that's your thing, then do it. That's what it sound like. It sound like you one of the ones to say do what you did, what you paid to do, and don't say nothing. Not don't say nothing, but don't don't try to make don't try to pull me against shit. If I'm paying you for a job, do the fucking job. You can have an opinion, but do the fucking job. I'm cutting a check. So you if you're paying somebody millions of dollars. How do you feel about it? I just, I just, how do you feel? You, you, I just, I've been, I've been sitting here and I was listening to you and I was trying to figure out what type of argument, like, what were you arguing? Like, what point were you trying to make? So I just wanted to see if you was working somewhere that was paying you millions and millions of dollars and then let's say, I already like, got the vaccine. Okay. No, I'm not talking about the vaccine. You but that's what this is about. You millions. Hold on, hold on. Let me get to it. Paying you millions of dollars. Next week or next year, they find out that oh, weed leads to some type of thing that can kill you, and it's a whole pandemic for weed. They want to stop people from smoking weed, and your job say, hey, nobody else can smoke no more. You can't smoke weed no more. We testing every day. We testing and every the only, week. And you this is stop? how I make my money, and I'm getting yes. paid twenty. Yes, you fucking right, nigga. Are you fucking crazy? Twenty two million, <laughs> and all I gotta do is stop smoking weed. Yes, nigga. There's other shits out here. <laughs> so, uh, that's all I need to know. I just want to see what that's a great day to try cocaine. Oh, I God. There's other drugs out here, bro. 22 million. million. That's um, there's cocaine, there's mushrooms, there's LSD, there's alcohol. There's, know, alcohol. Saying, there's other shit it's I like can get hooked on. Fuck weed. 22 million? What? <laughs> I'm on the news like, like, yeah, that shit did have me fucked up, yo. Like, See, see, that's how I, that's how I got it with the money. Okay, that's it. You at the job you at right now. And next week, they say you can't. You keeping that job, sir? Fifteen dollars an hour and twenty-two million dollars an hour. No, no, don't change, right. it, don't, don't change it. Don't change that, it. That is the, the that's the that's the whole point. That's what you're saying. You're asking me 
to keep the same energy for twenty two million a year for fifteen dollars an hour. What the yeah, fuck on, you think I'm gonna do? Hold on, hold on. Let me get back. You about to do now? That's twenty nine thousand a year to twenty two million a year. I'm smoking my <laughs> stuff. Fuck y'all rule. Yes. Hi, the kite. Money is money is the motivation. You can calculate that shit all you want. Hold on, you say you smoking bad stuff? Equal, that shit is never gonna equal twenty two million. No, I oh, said hi. You smoking bad stuff? Huh? Instead of weed. Now, that's not uh, that's not what I'm saying now. Said, I'm saying is the point is the, point, the money that you're thinking about now, the twenty million, is how he's looking at what you the fifteen dollars an hour right now. Like he's not worried. He probably not worried about the job anymore. Kyrie didn't probably made money. He probably straight. I get that's the point. point. I get, that's I, what I was trying to. Actually, the only thing I was saying. trying to figure out. Okay, is now if I had you. and if I didn't had four, I didn't had seven, ten years of making twenty two million oh, a year, and they came to me, and I don't want to do, and I don't want to smoke, maybe. I don't know. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm That's all I was trying to get. No. So money I, moves Actually, you. no. Money I'm still not going to smoke. Fuck no. 22 million? I'm good. Million? And all okay. I got to do is take a fucking shot? Are you fucking serious? I do it myself. Hey, give me yeah. the needle. You taking too long, nigga. Yeah. Right. The funny like, thing is, though, man, this, the funny thing about it is, the same the motherfuckers that, it. these the same motherfuckers that take flu shots in the end. These the same motherfuckers that get any type of fucking shot to stop pain and shit. But you don't want to get this shit. Come on, man. This shit. I'm just yeah, saying. Man. Before, before they was forced, you were still gonna make that money regardless. But now it's a rule. It's not. It's not being forced. This is the in government state. saying. In a state. In a in state. One state. That's, yeah. It's more than one state. It's fucking. It's 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 a few states like that, and we travel. What two? So I'm uh, going to pay you 22 million to play to play 35 percent of these games. Word. To miss to miss three states. Well, okay, I give you New York, and California being the biggest. So that's probably where most of the games and the the. That's 40, that. yeah, okay, that's, that's 48, 48 plus, yeah. games. That's 48 games you're missing off the back just of New York alone because we play 48 fair, games at home. To be fair, Kyrie gonna miss that anyway. But I gotta pay. But now you're missing this because <laughs> what? And I, I mean, and exactly and what, you just said, and what you just said. He gonna miss you those. I just had regardless. to pay you. I just had to pay you last year because your mind was your mind wasn't on basketball. But I was still cutting you basketball checks. Mm -hmm. No, this is a so business. You the at the, owner? End of the, day, you at the end of the day, this is a business. So would you cut him? I would do exactly would what Brooklyn did. You don't want to be. I. I'm not going to pay you 82 a uh, 82 game check, and you play 30 games, and it's not because of injury. It's because mm -hmm. you're not allowed in these arenas. That's 48 games at with well, 42 games at home at least. 41, 40, yeah, 41 games at home that you're missing. That's 50. That's yeah. 50 percent of the season right there. Let alone the playoffs. There's no point in me paying. But you still. But you're going to expect these checks to come. Yeah. Thanks. This is a business at the end of the day, and I think so what his, his contract, at it like that. What's and, his contract? And, and his contract, because Corona won't around when the contract, so ain't nobody's contract yeah. got nothing to do with it. I mean, I'm asking, like, do he have guaranteed? Is he getting guaranteed all money? He already got the contract. Yeah, yeah, I think he already yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he guaranteed, bro. Yeah, he already got it. They guaranteed. They buy years. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like All I right. said, I just paid you this money last year, and you ain't want to show up because you ain't feel you won't feeling good. Your stomach hurting. Right. It, mine won't. Right. I won't. Right. <laughs> yeah, I get. I definitely understand what you're saying from a business standpoint, but I also understand what he's coming from as a personal person, with a person with his own. I mean, beliefs. he looking, but if, that's, he, if it's off the yeah. Least, then yeah. But what I'm saying is, a, yeah. I don't think Kyrie went into it like thinking. All right, they gonna sit me down for the whole season. They gonna come. Right. Knowing right. how how Kyrie has been operating these last couple, because they have been cooperating with him like last year. When he wasn't good, they let him do it. So in his mind, mm -hmm. he like, well, I'm just gonna play certain games and they gonna be okay with me. Yeah, yeah. That man burns. That's what I'm thinking with Kyrie. That's what I was thinking with Kyrie because it was like, like you said, last year it was like, okay, Kyrie, okay, all right. And then this year you like, uh, -uh no. Nah. Full season, and that's nah, why he ain't said that. That's why he ain't said that. Last year was that COVID season too, so you really didn't expect the season to so go. It the first, yeah, it was the first season that from the bubble and shit. From the he, yeah, he did that shit. He so the Nets justified the Nets justified him sitting out last year. It was mental mm -hmm. health. They they now he brought he was bringing awareness to mental health. 
Mm-hmm. Kyrie got too many fucking problems. Yeah, to me, yeah, he sounds like one of them people I got to get off my Again, team. Again, that nigga ain't me. been right since old girl left him for party night. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who was old girl? Kalina. K- Kalina. Kalina. Yeah. Kalina. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she got that, that, that Erica Badu coochie. She was sucking the soul out that boy. She she be scaring me sometimes. Cause she be, yeah, some, she some days she like a man. You say suicidal. <laughs> Nah, she be white, like she mad suicidal though. She was churning, oh, she was churning pepper. <laughs> nah, I seen her some days she be she can look like a man and then the next day you be like, oh she's so gorgeous. <laughs> so she can she can she can do both. Yeah. Yeah. I, right. I think it's the face tattoos, dog. Yeah, that's probably too. It's a little aggressive. I think it's the face tattoos. Kyrie didn't know how to handle that nigga just like Kyrie hit it raw. Yeah. He's like, that nigga look in the mirror every time you take a shot. Like, like, man, do I really I love going. the girl? Do I love the boy? Mm-mm. Kyrie <laughs> hit it raw and thought she ain't finna leave me for no R and B singer. I'm a motherfucking NBA superstar. Word. She left him for a YD, then. Nah, nah she nah, party next, next door. Ooh. Bro, dude was probably boring to be real with you. He was probably trying to tell her about the earth. She probably didn't care. Probably about was that. telling her the earth was flat. Yeah, she was. He wanted them serious people, and she wanted to have fun. And like, mm-hmm. nah, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go actually get with the party now. It took a little weird turn, but you know, it happens. Hey, hey it's it's we making it seem like y'all got some say so. You know, you don't. Don't. I'm glad you brought that up because you missed earlier. <laughs> you you aware of the whole Kyrie Irving situation? Yes. Yeah. How, how do you feel on that? What's your take on that? <sighs> Kyrie, hey, he too big headed. He, he too high on himself. I can get that. Like I said, you ain't even. If he was on LeBron status, KD status. You tell the organization you ain't fucking playing. You know, you Kyrie Irving, nigga, you, you get out there and you shoot that basketball. Shut Cause you rough, cause, cause like I said, <laughs> you might've hit the game winning shot. You might be a big part of LeBron winning the ring in Cleveland. But at the end of the day, nigga, you was barely, you only making playoffs until LeBron came back. So you, you not that nigga. You, 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 you not that nigga. Like, <laughs> he's not that guy. So, <laughs> he's not that guy. Ky, Ky, Kyrie need to pipe down. Do you think he can survive a, a season or two? Uh, not playing? Out of the league? Yeah. Yeah. He's young. Kyrie can, yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah. and, and the reason why I say that, because honestly, most money, as far as them NBA players made, you know, endorsements. So, as long as he don't rub none of them people to, with his endorsements, wrong, endorsements with not playing basketball. Depending on who you are, depending on who you, if you know how to talk. See, Kyrie is. We talking about he ain't Kyrie. Kyrie, they you, you, you got to think about this. Kyrie, Kyrie ain't retarded. Still gonna make money. Ky- Kyrie still gonna find a way to make some money somehow. Mm-hmm. Kyrie's daddy has set him up to where his son ain't completely stupid now, but just some of the decisions he makes are very selfish. And I looked at it last year. I didn't even heard some of the experts say the Nets play better without Kyrie to begin with. So it ain't like he's gonna be missed. It's not like Brooklyn's gonna miss him. Uh-uh. <laughs> you still got Brooklyn. you still got James Harden and Kevin Durant. That that two walking buckets right there. So it ain't like Kyrie's gonna be just that missed. So I feel like at the end of the day, being that he's so injury prone, he's costing himself money because he's yeah, injury prone which lowers his trade value, which lowers his, anybody want to pick me up, sign me in free agency value because they don't know whether you're going to be able to get them enough games because mm-hmm. you're injury prone. So he's hurting himself in that aspect. That's just like Ben Simmons. Nigga, you can't shoot. Get your ass on the court as quickly as possible. You cannot shoot. Get your ass on that court as quickly as possible because all you're doing is diminishing your value right now because you showing people that already thought you was defiant don't care about trying to learn how to shoot, don't want to shoot. People already got these, and now, oh, you just not gonna show up because you upset because people called you out on the fact you can't shoot. Okay, 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 okay. All right, but let's, all right, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot Ben some Ben, all right? I'm gonna I'm shoot him some Ben, right? Now, all that is true, what you said, 
that he hit, he's struggling from shooting. I think it's all in his head because he can shoot. I feel like it's, you know, like I said, I think he just needs to see the ball going to the hoop. See? A few times consistently, and I think he'll he'll get the feel of it. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's like a feel. You know, I'm not the greatest basketball player. As a matter of fact, I was trash. But he need to, drop, came, he, he need to drop his nuts. That's what he need to do. He yeah, drop but nuts. Grow if up. your teammates and your coach, first of all, the coach, and they ask you, can you win with him? And then he's like, I don't know. And then, you know what I mean? Like, then you got your uh, – the other teammate, the mm-hmm. one that he, they, he say what he say, and he can tell he really don't want you there, and they center the offense around Embiid anyway. It's like that's because Embiid like, is the better overall player. Embiid can <laughs> fucking shoot. He's a better overall player than Ben Simmons. The based on six stats, he shoots. The nigga is six. <laughs> that, he can't that's make really nothing outside of eight feet away from the basket. That's the only thing that makes that. You got to think about it. He is a seven foot plus. Everyone else does. There's no floor spacing with Ben Simmons on the Yeah. And Beat is a seven foot plus person who can handle the ball and can shoot. Now, Ben Simmons, like I said, Ben Simmons need to talk to Lonzo. Because Lonzo had teammates saying the same shit about his ass. Can't shoot. Ben don't need to do that. I think I think I think what Ben needs to do, he would be perfect for Philly because you got Tobias Harris, who's a shooter. I mean, JJ Reddick retired and he won't on the team, whatever like that. But my We've thing is like that story though. Yeah, they I, already played with them. But then he, but the, if he's gonna go to a team, you gotta tell me somebody like Golden State. Golden State perfect. You don't want to shoot. Yeah, he you got to shoot us around. Golden State perfect for Ben Simmons because if he don't want to shoot, it can work no. in Philly. It can work right. with him in Philly. I mean, he's I've not going to I've seen the story with him in Philly. And the only way it's going to work with him in Philly, you got to get rid of Embiid. You got to get rid of Embiid, or you got to get rid of Simmons. They were the number one seed last year. Huh? They were the number one seed last year. What? Yeah. yeah. It was Philly. They, they were the number one seed. That's they make it. OK. Now, they made the playoffs. They played us, and that's what, and that's when we beat them, the Hawks. I'm talking about the Hawks. So they made the playoffs. They made the playoffs probably the past two or three years. And every they time been, they get to the playoffs, they lose based on the fact that their point guard cannot shoot. They've been one of the top one or three teams in the title mix. In the East? Four yeah, yeah. Teams. yeah. You're right. For the past, I think since Ben Simmons actually developed and came on as a, as who he is now. Okay. So I say what, like four years? I got what you're saying. Three, four years? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Since he's been, been, been healthy, they've been beast. Since yeah, he's been healthy. It's not. Yeah, been ever healthy. since they both been healthy, they've been there. It's not but been once they get to it's the playoffs, because you got to think about it. Once Simmons. they get to the playoffs, these teams do not play defense on Ben Simmons. They leave his ass wide open, force him to shoot, which he doesn't do, which makes it harder on the rest of his teammates because that's leaving you an extra person. Somebody's going to always be double teamed because, well, they know Ben ain't going to shoot. We just gonna let Ben stand right here. He ain't gonna shoot, so we gonna help double team somebody else, which is making it harder for us to run the offense. All because this person is so reluctant on shooting. Okay, we'll check this out, right? How many MVPs has Joel and B won since he came in the league? How many he possibly should have won? No, no, no. I how, many, how, many did he win, I guess, how many have you won? How many MVPs has he won? Zero, the same amount as Ben Simmons, right? Uh, we, we based on, mm. and we, we talk about uh, MVP. But about, no, but I'm saying like, that's what I'm saying. Like everyone's saying like on B, and I'm not, I'm not knocking him B, but he's injury prone. Dante said it. That's why I was waiting for y'all to finish. That's what right. I was going to say. Like, and B you can't depend prone. on MB. You can depend but, on Ben. But what you hey. can depend on MB is when the game's on the line, we know he's going to fucking shoot the ball. Right. Ben's problem is he's healthy, but what does he bring to the team just because he's healthy? You know you're getting nine rebounds and nine assists out of fucking out of Ben Simmons. And I know he's gonna play defense. You can get those nine nine rebounds and nine assists out of somebody else for a lot cheaper than what it's gonna cost to keep Ben Simmons around. That's what Ben Simmons can give you twenty, and he's your he's gonna be if not your best defender on the team. Best defender does not make you a tw- does not make you a maximum player. That's why they want to get rid of Ben Simmons. He yeah. is a four contract extension, and they're talking max numbers. He and got four he- years left. No, it's like no, it's no. kind of he does he doesn't he's up for it. I think Ben up for he's up for money. I think he about to yeah, I'm pretty sure. they just I think say up no, for they money. say he just hey, they just just saying, that's why he they just talk paid him. him. They just paid yeah, him. That's why they have to pay him. Yeah, they just paid him. 
So See, but he ain't get paid top. Three, he him superstar yeah. money. Yeah, he ain't, they, he ain't get paid top dollar. He got he got something in his contract where he can get another contract. Yeah, he can, he he can restructure like, his contract he, and get more money. He getting twenty eight million a year, and for twenty eight million a year, you should average at least eighteen points a game. That's that's just yeah. like uh, with yeah. the Warriors and Steph Curry. You know, the the Warriors that just paid season. Steph Curry not too long ago and still restructured the contract. Play off anything. It shouldn't go. If I'm paying you, to, if I'm paying you anything north of twenty million <coughs> a year, I need at least at least give me fifteen a game. Yeah, that including the playoffs. Now I'm not gonna take it away from the coach because Doc Rivers got something to do with it too. All right, yeah. but I'm gonna ask but, you this then, bro. Ben Simmons is passing the ball under the rim. He won't even try to lay it up. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you a question, Rod. Point guard. You want Ben Simmons or Russell Westbrook? Oh, that's all. Yeah. Oh. oh, I want Russell Westbrook because that's my favorite player. But I've been, like, okay. I'm just take that away. Take, take, take that away. away. I'm taking Ben Simmons. No, I'm not. You want to know why? Yeah. Younger, younger, no. better defender, and that's like I said. I can fix the shoot problems. Take that's the age. No, I'm talking about take the age and everything away. Take. I, I don't. I don't care about the age. Is he I'm a better about, defender? Or are we just going off that because he's a seven footer right, guarding six footers? Now, I'm talking. This, this is why I asked you that question. Because the knock on Russ is Russ can't shoot. Knock on Simmons is Simmons can't mm-hmm. shoot. But the advantage I give Russ is Russ isn't afraid to take the shot. Russ isn't afraid of the big moment. Ben Simmons is yeah. afraid of the moments. He's afraid yeah, of the shit out of the team. I can't. Care. I can't have. <laughs> I can't have a player that's scared. I can't win with a scared player. I can win with a Russell Westbrook because he's at least gonna give me a chance because he's gonna at least attempt it. You know, and people knowing that he's gonna attempt it, it's gonna draw just a tad bit, a little bit more. But Ben Simmons, like I said, you can literally stand at the free throw line. And no, he's not even going to attempt the shot. He will hold the ball and the shot clock will run out before that nigga take that shot. That's how scared he is. I can't play with a scared player. I got to have somebody that's got some type of testosterone inside of him and going to at least try. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Y'all keep him beat. And when he gets injured, not for not this season, probably, you know, not going to worry. He gets injured next season. He's out damn he missed down 45, 50 games. Um, you're gonna be wishing you never Simmons, said, Simmons you can't carry you wish you would talk nicely to Ben. What does Simmons do when Embiid's out? What does he, he do? Of course, 40 points. I, when? How? Where? He's <laughs> never done that? With in, without <laughs> Embiid, Embiid, right? Without <laughs> Embiid. He has he done that without Embiid. God, That's my question. I'll strike me down. I'm, I'm lying if I'm, As I'm he's dying if I'm lying, bro. He scored 40 points lying. without Embiid in the game. 41. Without 41, Embiid. Bro. Without, without Embiid. Embiid. Embiid was hurt. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. It might have been one game. It might have been a game. But he probably got them all off of free throws. Simmons, Simmons signed a uh, five-year shot. He only shot 10 free throws. He in 2019. He only shot 10 free throws. I mean. Well, that's what hey. I'm saying. I'll say he can, should be up for extension because, like I said, he got four yeah, years. He signed one year, right? He signed five, a five year in 2019. So, 20, 21, 20. Yeah, he still. How got much five. is it? Oh, uh, I don't think it's uh, 33 million, I think. Okay. See, that's why I said it. That's what they say this restructure. year. Oh. That's what he can restructure this year. 33 million for a motherfucker to restructure for that what? Just 10 points a game. For the head coach to talk shit about person. me, and then, and then y'all start player to talk shit about me. We shut them off. Because you're play. trash. Because I'm paying you thirty three million a year, and you're passing up layups. Let's Bye. not even like get why we're having this conversation. What you want? They're not having these conversations because he's missing shots. We're having this conversation because he was scared to do a layup on Trey Young. Truth. It's not him. because he's, he's taking boy, shots and missing them. Come on, Rod. You're, a, <laughs> you're a Hawks fan. Trey Young was and under the goal. This man is six. I'm a Hawks fan, and I'm saying that you should. The t- man passed. This is why. This is the only reason why we're having this talk. If he no, was not, I up, actually watched those games, and quiet they kept. He was locking down motherfucking fucking Trey Young's ass. Trey Young had thirty points. I mean, how many games in that series did he had thirty points? Damn near every game. Not true, bro. Not true. 
How many times? Every time, cause like it ain't like we just swept them. It ain't one like that. It was not like that. It was tough. It was I'm not tough. saying it wasn't, but I'm saying you're what I'm you're saying is he was locking Trey Young down. I'm saying he wasn't. He was playing good defense, and that's still not thirty three million dollars. Because he got. Cause he got that's still not thirty-three million dollars. You're saying you're telling me that I'm paying you thirty-three million dollars to play good defense, and the man still goes off for twenty. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, but the guy you're going off of, you can't depend him to be at work every day. Ooh. So you, so on one side, on one side, you like, all right, let's get rid of Kyrie because we don't want to be here. Whatever, okay. Like, all right, here's, here's, here's business, here's, right? But then you go the with the guy. Here, I'm, I'm finna tell you, and I'm finna tell you why. Time. I'm finna tell you why. If if a B, those fifty-three games that a B plays. It gives me a better chance to win than 82 games that Ben Simmons plays. Uh, I wouldn't yeah. say that. Because, say that. because Embiid is a bona fide superstar. He's giving me 20 and 10 a night. No, no doubt. Not if, not if I can get to the lane and get it. No ifs, ands, and buts. He's giving me 20 and 10 a night. Bona fide superstar. Can Ben Simmons do that for me? Yes, I want, I want to get into that. He's a, he's, a, he's a great regular season player, but when it comes to that playoff, it just it's just ridiculous. What is so, what is so is James Harden, but ain't nobody sitting here saying he shouldn't go to the 10 points a game. So is James Harden. James Harden is one of the great. He's like the Peyton Manning of the NBA. He's okay. great in the regular season in the playoffs. He disappeared, but ain't nobody okay. saying, no, don't go to Brooklyn. Don't take James Harden. And Man, we see one it. playoff, one bad what? playoff series. Right. How many, how, how many bad series, bad playoff series has Ben Simmons had? Everyone that he's been in. Everyone he's been in? Yes, sir. Everyone he's been in? Yes, sir. Did they have Markel Fultz in one of one of those playoffs? Hell yeah. no. I don't think Fultz <laughs> ever played. Like, I was you just said, yeah. on the team, period. Game one, Trey Young scores 35. Oh, oh, I'm already looking at it. It's uh, Ben going. Simmons ain't Ben Simmons ain't, ain't like he scored down, a lot right? that first game. He scored that first game. He didn't score after that. I'm looking at game game four right now, and then B had 17 points. Ben Simmons had 11, and then Trey Young had 25. That's How many points? Say it again. He scored 25, but how many points overall was he responsible for? Trey Young? No, yeah. we're just going to go off how many points he scored. Okay. So he, joined, he scored 25 in game four. In game one, he had 35. Game two, he had 21. <laughs> game five. That's what he Trey no. had 39 game five. Game three. And B had 37 points. And Ben Simmons had eight points. Okay. You stupid. Get out. Get out. Get, get out. Get, get out. Five. Game get, three. Get out. Get out. Get out. She threw it. She means, did she mean too? Game six, Joel B had no, uh, 22 points. Big. Ben Simmons had six points. And Trey Young had 34 points. So Trey Young ha has had a high scoring game each game in this series. And then what, game, what, two or three, two or three games over 30? Uh, I know at least four games. Let's see, game seven, Trey Young had 21. Okay. So that's one left. Joel and B had 31. Ben Simmons had five. One so if game you paying Ben Simmons, he had if you paying Ben Simmons for a shooter. If I'm paying Ben series? Simmons to be a scorer, I'm not, for the series, I'm not paying him no more. For the series, Trey Young averaged 29 points and 10 assists. Where was the lockdown at? That's not 30. It's 29. <laughs> It's only it's, it's only twenty nine points to go against the Hawks. That's all he had to do. What? And it, wait, he had to. It took him what, like six? Maybe even like six, right? What are you, what are you talking six about? Six, seven, seven games. 
Seven I'm games. talking about Ben. You tell you told me Ben Simmons was like was he was like down. down if you tell me he, he scored thirty every game. I'm saying he if he's averaging he, twenty nine he points a game. 30, he if he's averaging twenty nine points a game, seven. he's averaging twenty nine points a game on one point oh. <laughs> he averaged twenty nine points a game with Ben Simmons guarding him during that series. I don't know. I just think y'all should just admit y'all biases, like. We can put, like I said, same thing you say about James Harden. But then you're like, oh, you're basing on one playoff series. No, we've seen it over time. What about that? Time in, time out. James Harden has been hey, clutching the playoffs hey, since he's with the Thunder. Since he's been with the Thunder. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Ever since he went to Houston, he ain't did shit in the playoffs. But he oh, held it. I guess you. Look, I can tell you that. Go, every team going to want him. Because he shoots. That's what we're saying. We're saying he shoots. Okay, You're I saying agree he with shoots. Whether he makes those shots or home. not, it's not the issue. What I'm saying is my issue with Ben Simmons is is he's not <laughs> even taking these shots for me to criticize him on being trash. He's passing up wide open. You watched the game. You said you watched the games in the series. He's passing up wide open layups, bruh. What superstar is doing that? What star player is passing up wide open layups? I know he's a passer. I get that. Shoot scoring is not his game, but he's a high flyer. He dunks. Something happened in that series where he did not want to do anything. As far as James Harden, James Harden chokes in the playoffs. Ben Simmons is just doesn't shoot regular season or playoffs. You want to know what I think is James Harden's downfall in the, in the playoffs? They let you play a little bit more defense. They let a little bit more get away than what they're doing. Cause Jack, I, James Harden's game to me is draw a foul. That's where he gets most of his points. If you look at the numbers, James Harden would be seven for 30 something. But he didn't got 40 to 60 points because he didn't been to the free throw line. Not even, not even, not even, he's completely one dimension. But yeah, I mean, I agree. Like I said, I, I'm not on. I'm not as high on James Harden's force. I'm not. I'm not kissing. No, like I said, James Harden. If I had to pick between James Harden and Kyrie Irving for the playoff series, I want Kyrie. Kyrie is showing up in the playoffs when he's on the court. If I had to pick between two, I want Kyrie in the playoffs. But for every other game, for every other game, I don't need Kyrie. Give me James. James a better score. James is the better score of the two. I'm going to be real with you. With Ben Simmons on um, last year's stat, yeah, he should not be acting like that. 14 points average. 55% from from um, field goal. But 30, um, 30% for three points. And then, you know, just seven, averaging seven and, um, in rebounds and assists and six. And he a point guard. You can change position. That's what I said. Ben Simmons played any other position. He if you put him at a, put him at a power forward or center, Still got I wouldn't be too mad at him. Yeah. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too mad at him. But if you my point guard, I'm gonna need some like you, you built like Magic center, Johnson. There's you, centers you built, these days that shooting free. The NBA is not cut and dry no more. You have oh, yeah. To NBA is coming to shooting league. I mean, that's just a known fact. And that's, the, and that's what everyone's problem is with Ben Simmons. I'm not denying his talent or anything. I'm saying I'm not paying you $33 million a year to pass the ball like this. It's not what I'm, I'm definitely you know the crazy is? His average, His average assist is six per game. Damn, so he even lacking at the point guard aspect. He ain't even averaging 10, 10 assists a game. You ain't even shooting. He averaged what you eight doing with the And he, he got eight eight in the postseason. Oh, there you go. Yep. He give you eight in the postseason, though. Regular season. I was just looking at regular How many points he give you in the postseason? Postseason, he give you 11 points. Regular season, he give you 14. So he drops off when he gets to the playoffs. So it's... So for 33 million, y'all okay with that? I'm not okay for 33 million, but that's a lot of money for a 10, oh score, a 10 point player. That's all I'm saying. And how much is Embiid making? Embiid is getting 31 million. He's getting 33. Uh, Tobias Embiid here is getting 35. How much? How much? Tobias should got more. Tobias should Tobias got more. Tobias, Tobias, is also, Tobias is also one that's overpaid. But what is Embiid averaging? 
The last season, he averaged 28 points a game. He was fourth and beat the 66. Uh, rebounds per game, he's giving you 10 a game. Uh, assists per game, he's giving you two. And then, what's this per? I don't know what that is. It's per. Hey, All right. Reg- and be, uh, and be yeah. regular season. Oh, P-E-R. Regular season, he gave me uh, 28 points. Postseason, he gave me 28 points. Uh, let's see what are we looking for for rebounds, I guess. Yeah. A point. Rebounds, rebounds regular well. season. Is, rebounds is 10.6 a season. Postseason is 10.5. So he don't drop off that much. Blocks is 1.4 regular season. Postseason 1.5. So his shit pretty much stay the same. When he's playing, and that's why I've been saying when he's playing. Yeah. How many minutes? We can go by minutes. Uh, uh, how many? How many games did he miss last year? He played. Wait, no, that's his career. My bad. Hold on, that's his career. They will tell me how many in a year. It don't tell me how many he missed though. It, it should say games played. Okay, it's, it's I think his. I think I got a better comparison for you, Rod. You take Ben Simmons or Giannis, play the exact same. They both play the exact same, pretty much. Yeah. Drive to the rim. That's the only way they score. Except for I've seen Giannis at least attempt the shooting aspect. That's the only only advantage I'm gonna get Giannis. He at least attempts the shooting aspect. But then you you're asking these are different players yet. They have to do two different things for them to the office. Like they have, and they play two games, but that Giannis but, but, is a power forward. No, Giannis is a point guard. <laughs> Giannis, see, they bring like they, said, he brings the ball up the court as a point their, guard. Their games are, uh, if you the look at the same play, same. the games are exactly That's the same. They both are known for driving to the cup. That's where you're getting your points at. You drive. All you're doing is driving. Giannis is known for above the rim. That's what Giannis is known for. He's won two MVPs like that, if I'm not mistaken, for just driving to the rim. Giannis cannot shoot. That is one of Giannis's knocks, is he can't shoot. Free game. He can't shoot, period. Giannis, he got his games where all of a sudden he's hitting them. Other than that, Giannis can't shoot. That's been one of Giannis's knocks. So when you put Giannis... I'm about to say, say, you you taking Giannis or you taking Ben Simmons? That's identical games right there. They both do the exact same thing. Except I think Ben probably played a little better defense. I think Ben probably played a little better defense. And Who would you choose? Uh, between them two. Ben Simmons. Why are you picking Ben? They ask like they like I said, they play in two different positions. They have to do two different things to win two different offenses. So if my offense is ran to where it's like bad choice, I'm gonna get a six ten point guard. Who, but that's what Giannis is. That's that's the same way that Philly uses Ben. Is the same and way. And B brings the ball up sometimes too. during Philly. So is he the point guard? What? And B brings don't, the ball up I, sometimes. But, what I'm saying is the same way that Philly uses Ben Simmons is the same way that Milwaukee uses Giannis. The same exact way. They play the same position. But they might as well, they pretty much might as well play the same position. Like Giannis might be mentioned, listed as a power forward, but if you look what Giannis brings to the table for the Bucks, he has the ball in his hand more than anyone. The same as Ben Simmons. Like, are we going by death chart? That's just like LeBron. LeBron listed as a what? Small forward. But we all know LeBron can play all five positions. Like that's just another fact. And LeBron, it's not, it's not about what he can play. And LeBron brings the ball up the court. LeBron brings basically the point guard for the Lakers. Majority of the time when he's on the court, LeBron brings the ball up. But he's not listed right. as a point guard. He's not listed as a point guard, though. That's basically what Giannis does for the Bucks. Okay, so point guard, you're taking Jamal Murray or Ben Simmons? Jamal Murray. Are you taking John Morant or Ben Simmons? When you say point guard, I'm taking a true point guard. I'm taking someone that can shoot. 
See, but a point yeah, guard, see, move, that's no, not no, a no, point guard. That's no. not no. A point guard is more about assists than that really about a, shoot. A scoring point guard is not a true point guard. Chris Paul is the truest point guard left in the game. He's going to pass first, and, but he can still get his bucket. Point guard is, a point guard does everything. He, he gets, he, he sets A point up. guard pass first. He, he's, a point, a true point guard is going to facilitate for the rest of his teammates first. He's gonna, he's gonna get his offense. He's gonna get his buckets within the offense. Yeah. He ain't gonna be the all offense. The point in them. Yeah, but if you're the point guard on your team, you're the best shooter. You gotta shoot that gun. No, I mean, all right, so, so Lonzo Ball or Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I'm about to say, I ain't even seen, I ain't seen much of Alonzo to choose on this. I'm about to choose. That's a good one. Because Alonzo play defense too. That's what I love about Alonzo's game. He plays some hell of defense. He's a better and, passer too. And he's I'm the taking, better shot. Lonzo I'm taking little from. brother over Alonzo. Yeah. He wasn't in the, he wasn't in, in the choices. I'm telling you, I don't give a damn. I'm taking a little brother over Lonzo. We all know LaMelo is a better scorer than Lonzo. But if you look at Lonzo's game from when he first joined the Lakers to where he is right now in Chicago, it's different. Yeah, it's different. He went from somebody that could not shoot to Lonzo from three is averaging at least 40%. If not close to it, he right on the cusp of 39. Yeah, I said, yeah, he right on the cusp. So what was going with Ben, though? I'm trying to see this argument about Ben. What was... What we so is we is we saying should if we was the owner I'm mean not owner but um what you the owner or whatever should we give this nigga thirty three million for doing Hell nothing? No. I'm not giving that man thirty three million. I ain't giving him thirty three. He's not. Well, even, he's already done. He's, he's not, not giving even, to him. He's not, not even in him. the. He's not even in the top fifteen in point guard. If we going yeah, by he the positions, he, yeah he ain't top ten in his own position. That that that's my. Thing. If I'm gonna give you, if you want, if we're going by the, if we're going off the premise that he's a point guard, he's only giving me six assists and eleven point and, and fifteen points a game. Yeah. Well, I can name, a, I can name so you a point guard. Points, I said fifteen. I can name a point guard that's close to the same height as Ben, but he can score. Luka Doncic. He tall. He a tall point guard, but he gonna score. That, that's my only knock on Ben. I like Ben's defense. The man just will not shoot. And it's like he don't give a fuck. That that's that's what pissed me off the most. It's like he just does not care. A coach's job is to criticize his players to make his players better. So yes, yeah, Doc Rivers never, to speak they out never gave a fuck about Ben anyway. It never oh. it never really was about Ben anyway. It was all about Embiid. Embiid be, was the process. The better player. He, okay, he's, he's the, the better, better player process. though. That's just so like why would, why would, so why would he care? And then at the same time, if they if they felt if the Phillies organization felt the way that y'all felt, they would have been just dealt them. They, they trying to. Them damn stuff. You can't just deal them. They not just gonna take just some bullshit for a them. A lot of people. A lot of people. They didn't ain't offer paid too much. He a lot of people much. ain't gonna give them what they want. Yeah, because they didn't offer them up. Everything we're saying. They tried to get but, Andrew, tried to get Andrew Wiggins and and Daymar and Draymond Green from the Warriors. The Warriors didn't want to separate the uh, veteran players. So they said no. They tried to send them to uh, Dallas, but they want Dallas didn't want to give up the picks. So it's not just us that don't want them. Philly don't want them either. That's why he's just showing up to training camp. I say, look at it like this. He's only showing up to training camp for the money. He don't really care about it. You, you it's said it's always been about Embiid. You always gonna send your team around your best player. That's just a known fact. That's that's who you gonna cater your team to. Your best player. I mean. Them Lakers teams, Kobe and Shaq. Kobe was still averaging 30 something in the playoffs. You look at the numbers. But it's just a known fact the best player on them teams was Shaq. There was nobody that could stop him. That's basically what Philly got with Embiid. You can't really stop Embiid. Because most, how you guard him? How do you, how do you really truly guard Embiid? He can pound you in the paint, and the man can step out, cross you up, and shoot in your face at seven foot plus. Now, I understand the whole injury prone. That's the only knock you got on Embiid is he, he injury prone. But he's injury prone because he's so tall. That's like Kevin Durant. That's why Kevin Durant suffered the injuries he suffered, because he's so tall and doing the things he can do. 
you know, that's just a height thing. If, if, if you took a couple inches off of and be, I think that whole injury prone thing goes out the water. I'll still take MB over. But yeah, as I said, I think MB's height is a All big right. reason on why he suffers the little injuries. It's a foot injury usually with MB. It's usually a foot injury with MB. This is a known fact with tall people, they always got them foot injuries. That's what fuck That's what. But yeah, Kyrie way more injury prone than MB, though, if we want to get technical. Kyrie done been injured literally every year he's been in the league that I know of. Going back to college, he didn't even play a full year at Duke because of an injury. Like, that's just been a known fact with Kyrie. That's another, that's why I said, that's why Kyrie needs to just calm down, go get your vaccine, and just play. Nigga, you know, he knew what he was getting into. He knew what he was getting into. You can't say he didn't know what he was getting into. He knew what he was getting into. So, that's one of them things, man. You just need to, just need to play. Just play. That's all you're getting paid to do is play. That's all you're getting paid to do. You ain't got to do nothing else, Kyrie. We even give you days off for mental health. You gonna still get your days off. Just just suit up. Talk to a few people and play. That's all you gotta do. But he don't wanna do that. But if it's paid slavery, like you were saying earlier, and you it know is. Kyrie on that type you of admit, shit, I'm about to say, yeah. I mean, you gotta admit it is. A, a, a lot of it's, it's paid slavery. You think about it, it's paid slavery. But very good paid slavery though. But yeah. This would be my. This would be. Day, this would at be, the end of the day, motherfuckers is getting paid millions. This, this would be my money. question for Kyrie, though. This would be my question for Kyrie. How many other vaccines has he taken? How many other vaccines has Kyrie taken? Fucking with Kalani. Since he's been an adult. That clap shot. Since he's been an adult. Since he's been an adult. Right, how many you. other vaccines has Kyrie taken? He had to take that shot so he can pee straight. I bet you he won't thinking about what was in there when his pee pee hole was burning. Cause I promise you, just to be a what college, say, just to be a college student athlete, Kyrie had to take vaccines. It's a, it's mandatory. You take. And if he's ever been to Africa, he has to take a bunch of shots. Is that if he's ever been out the country, he's had to take shots. So, like I said, that's why I say Kyrie being selfish. Cause he can't tell me he ain't never took another shot, nothing else. But since he's been only, in the NBA, no, it's not, it's not about the shot. It's not what we talked about earlier. It's not about the shot. It's about yeah, you it's telling me I gotta take you. That's what it is. That, that's what it is. He been told he gotta do something, but then he gotta look at it. This whole contract is all about telling him he gotta do something to get paid. That's what don't make sense to me. Since you've been in the NBA, you've been told you gotta do something. <laughs> so it ain't making sense. Why I, I wanna sit now because I'm being told I gotta do something. Nigga, you told her if you want to play for this organization, this is what you got to do. And you still sign that contract to get that money. So what's new now? Because it's a shot? That's really what it is, because it's a shot. It's a needle. All of a sudden now it's an issue with you. Like I said, people can't pick and choose when being told to do something becomes an issue for them. When your whole career is people telling you what to do or you wouldn't have a career. That's, that's my issue with the whole Kyrie thing. Just because it's mandatory, he's being forced to do it. He don't want to do it. Hey, I Look, think that's, let's that's review what your NBA has. I think that's what Kyrie takes offense to. Like the fact is, like it's some work, but it's not. You, he's not thinking like looking at it like, oh, you, I, you're telling me what to do. He's looking at it like, all right, if we make the playoffs, I get this. I get the extra three hundred k, and if we win the championship, I get the extra five hundred. And he's looking at it like that. He's not looking at it like, oh, you. You gotta come in and play 82 games and shit like that. Obviously, it's in a small print, but he's not looking at it like that. He's looking at it like, all right, I'm the NBA, NBA player. This is what we do. You know what I'm saying? As far as like the uh, the fair trade agreement, whatever that shit is that they do with the players' union shit. So like, he's just looking at it like that. And he's a free spirit, so of course he's not gonna vibe with like, oh, the state say you gotta do something. Like he's like, nah, nigga. Like I'm I'm the reason why Kyrie, I mean Kev, Kevin Durant even came in and wanted to stay. Uh, like I said, I I ain't never really been that high on the Kyrie train like most people anyway. Yes, the man got some handles on him. It's the man too injury prone. Can't carry an organization by himself, although he acts like it. That's my that that's the, my big knock on him. He acts like he can carry an organization. You wanna know why? Can't. You want to know why he huh? acts like that? You want to know why he acts like he carried the, I mean, the franchise? Because, because he, gets 
Because I'll, yeah, because you get that damn shot in the finals. Yeah, so that, I mean, that's what it is. Everyone who don't like LeBron is like, oh, Kyrie, Kyrie. Yeah, that's what it was. Simmons, if Ben Simmons hit a shot like that in the playoffs, we'll get, we will be okay. Nah, well, I think at least maybe and B getting all the he ain't praise. He ain't got to hit it. Shit, I'm uh, gonna take it. Let, let still, me yeah, and B will still get all the praise because MB was the one that was scoring 40 points to keep us close for you to hit that shot. If That's MB just was, like if MB yep. was playing like Ben Simmons the whole game, yeah, we would you hitting that shot wouldn't fucking matter. That's what anything. That's, That's just like that's LeBron That's, take on him hitting that shot. Like, yeah, nigga, you hit the shot. But if I was playing like you was playing all game, that shot would have just been a shot. Nah, Kyrie was balling that game. Kyrie had it. That was Kyrie was balling. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know that whole. Kyrie was balling that whole series since they they both were like over thirty. They were over that. Yeah, they like both average plus. thirty. Mm-hmm. I can say Kyrie didn't hold his though. But what are you saying? Like the I mean, contributions, the contributions overall. Like, yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, Kyrie showed me that he couldn't carry organization when he was the organization, and they weren't doing shit. There's always first pick. Kyrie cannot carry an organization. This is a known fact. Shit, Kyrie went to the Celtics and Celtics got worse. Nice. What does that say about him? They got worse. Well, I gotta take a shit. So. <laughs> I think that's all the time we have for today's podcast. Thank y'all for joining us. Follow us on the Patreon Media YouTube channel. We are now on IG. Tokyo, you got that IG? Yeah, it's um, pantheon.media.llc. Make sure you follow That's the Instagram on. name? Yeah. Oh, guess Instagram. So, you can't change that. I'm about to say. You know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, everybody in Tokyo. Everybody, everybody in Tokyo. Whatever Pantheon. How you shake it or break, I can put it in a fucking acronym. If you want to, media dot LLC dot business major dot. Bro, I, I I try everything. I was like, damn, that's a lot of pantheons out here for nobody to know by the name. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Still, that y'all need to go follow us. Follow yeah. us on the ground. We on we on Twitter. On Twitter. We on Facebook. Oh, and we TikTok. got the YouTube popping. TikTok coming soon. So we we got you. Anything you be on, we on. Cause we own what you own, and we out. Thank you all again. That's for the bullshit. We ain't on that bullshit though. <laughs> I, I, I with it sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we ain't on that bullshit though. <laughs> sometimes, some days I got time. <laughs>